Hi. Today's reflection uh, is a mixture of two Facebook posts and two podcasts that are all mixing round in my head at the moment. They're four different things, but in some ways they're all four very similar things. First one was a um, Facebook post that came up on my uh, Facebook profile the other day. You know when it says, on this day five years ago, you posted this? Well, it was one of them, and it is where I'd come across an app. And this app, you put your date of birth in, and it gives you the information, or the following information. For me, I put my date of birth in, and I was told I was the 3 billionth, 356 millionth, 67,000th, 846th person alive on earth that day. It also told me I was the 77th billionth, 279th millionth, 206th, thousandth three hundred and seventy second person to have lived since the beginning of history <laughs> you can probably take those figures with a pinch of salt but they're, they're, they're probably near enough in one way all it did really was it, it was a great way of reminding me in the big scheme of things how insignificant one person is and um it makes you feel really small Second Facebook post was from a professor of philosophy. He's 97 years old and he'd been thinking about his impending death, which could be any moment, any day. He'd been a professor or is a professor of philosophy. He had taught philosophy at universities. He had written books on philosophy for well over 50 years. And one of the books he wrote was about how silly it is or pointless to worry about dying and how death is insignificant. But he said he'd changed his mind because since he wrote that book, his friends had died, his beloved wife, who they were married for, I think it was a good 60 years, she would died too. And he was feeling very alone and he was thinking very much that his time too was coming. And he said, after all these years of philosophy, I have come to the realisation that actually I don't know anything. He said, I am still a huge puzzle to myself. I think really what he was doing was he was ask, asking that big question, the meaning of life. What is it all about? Are we just a chemical reaction that springs into life and then fizzles out? What's the meaning of life and he didn't have an answer after 97 years of philosophizing and thinking about it he didn't have a light he didn't have an answer now he obviously thought that there was no such thing as life after death because he said we're worrying about death when it's something we won't actually experience because if we're dead and there is nothing we won't even know it so why worry about it? And that was the premise of the book. But he said since then, he's changed his mind. But he still doesn't have the answers. Listening to a podcast from Richard Raw, where Richard Raw said, for God, no one is dead. And he was looking at Mark 12, chapter 12, verse 27, where Jesus is talking with the Pharisees and uh, the Sadducees about resurrection. And Jesus says this, he says, God is not the God of the dead. He is the God of the living. He is the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac and the God of Jacob. What Jesus meant is he was not, uh, it's not that he was the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. He is the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob because they are alive. See, death is a process, a moment, but it's not the end. It's life, death, life. Therefore, for God, no one is dead. Rob Bell, the second podcast I was listening to, speaks of a rabbi who taught his disciples to carry two pieces of paper, one in each pocket. The first one says, I am but dust. And the second piece of paper in the other pocket says, the world was created for me. 
It's that balance from thinking that we don't have meaning to getting too excited about ourselves, but also realising that we are created by God, therefore we have infinite worth. The Psalms say we are fearfully and wonderfully made. So today, I don't know where you are, how you're feeling about yourself, but I want you to remember that Jesus lived and died and lived for you. He calls us to live, die and live for him because we are of immense worth. A guy I know used to carry a nail around in his pocket. And I asked him, you know, doesn't, doesn't it jab you sort of thing and get in the way? And he said, yeah, it does. But every time that happens, I'm reminded that my saviour died for me. Jesus died for each and every one of us. We are of immense worth. We're not a chemical reaction that lives and then just fizzles out. We too will live. For God is the God of the living, not the dead.